Hi everyone, this is Joy for Honeybee Stamps. I am super excited to make this video using the new Summer Stems release, and I'm using the Market Cart Builder die with the coordinating stencil. Now I'm using, I'm starting with a five by seven card base and it's just some gray cardstock, like a medium gray cardstock. And I'm using the salvaged brick stencil and I'm just gonna tape that in place. And I'm actually going to be stenciling a dark brick on the background. I really wanted this background to feel kind of modern. So I'm coming in with some black ink. I'm actually using Honeybee Stamps Intense Black Ink and just stenciling over this whole stencil. As you can see, the bottom part is open. I'm actually gonna come in with some white cardstock and make it look like some concrete at the bottom. So it's not a big deal that that is not going to be stenciled with brick. I just lifted up to see if I needed to be, if it needed to be a little bit darker and it did. So I'm just gonna come back over using my blender brush, more of that intense black ink and really get it very dark. And isn't that super fun? Okay, so I've got my white piece of cardstock that I'm just going to adhere at the bottom and I'll just trim off the excess off of the bottom. This card is gonna stay a five by seven. I'm not going to trim this down at all. I'm gonna come in with some Copic markers and add some gray color to this to give it the look of concrete. I am using some C colors. I believe I'm using C1, two, and three, adding some darker spots on the edges, really not being super neat about it, which turns out perfect because it gives you the different color variation in the cement. So I'm adding some darker spots here and there, and then I'm gonna go back over it with the lightest marker and just kind of blend it all out. Come back in with that dark just around the edges, and now we've got some concrete. So here is the Market Cart Builder die. I am going to die cut all of my pieces from white cardstock because I will be coloring, stenciling, all of that. So I've got the flowers, the cart part, the awnings, the flower pots, all of that I'm gonna die cut from white cardstock. So I'm just gonna run that through. And as you can see, we've got all of these great pieces here. Uh, I love that there's some coordinating stencils for the awnings because you really get a great, good striped coloring. So here's your cart, and this is kind of how the pieces go together. And you've got this little shelf that fits right behind. I am going to die cut the wheel from gold mirror cardstock. I'm going to cut the wheel itself twice. I wanna double that up and then you've got that little open circle. I'm just cutting that once and I'm gonna glue all of those pieces together and that's gonna give that wheel some dimension. I'm also going to cut that little uh, the little tailgate, not not really a tailgate, the little hitch, that's the word I'm looking for, out of gold mirror cardstock, and I'm just gonna glue that down. I wanted that to be a little bit different. Uh, I liked adding some gold to this card design. It really, really kind of up to the game, made it a little bit more elegant. So I'm going to glue that little piece down. I'm going to glue the tire together, or the wheel, it's not really a tire, it's a wheel. I'm just gonna use some liquid glue. I'm keeping the centers in place, adding just a little bit of liquid glue to that and adhering that together. And then I'm gonna come in with that open circle and adhere that to the front. I am using Honeybee Stamps new uh, reverse tweezers. They are fantastic. They're so strong. They hold everything in place, which is really, really fantastic. So now I die cut part of that uh, the cart builder, as you can see here, from some patterned paper. This is from the Summer St Stems patterned paper pad, excuse me, Summer Stems paper pad, and I trimmed that down to fit in that bottom part of the cart. Now, this is the coordinating stencil, so I'm going to stencil up both of the, the awning and the little little bottom awning, little skirt piece, and I'm going to be using some salvaged patina. I liked the kind of peachy apricot color with this teal color. So I'm just gonna stencil right over this and when you pull this back, you've got your little awning all the way complete and it's so quick and so easy. Now let's glue these parts together for the awning. There's that little patterned paper piece that I trimmed down and I just glued that in. I left a white border around, but you could cover that whole bottom piece and that would be great too. I'm gonna glue that wheel on and this top part, the top awning, actually has some score marks. And that's going to give it the 3D look. So the top little score mark, I'm gonna to fold toward myself. The bottom one, I am folding away from myself. I'm gonna actually add two pieces of foam tape thick, and I'm going to adhere that down and add a little bit of liquid glue to the part 
at the top. That's what's going to be holding this together. The foam tape isn't really holding it, but it's going to make it to where it doesn't go flat, if that makes sense. So if you push down on it, you're going to have some resistance from the foam tape. And then you've got that cute little 3D cart. So here's that little shelf. Normally this just fits right behind it, but I'm actually going to cut this, slide it around the posts on the cart. So I have a shelf in the back and a shelf in the front. So I'm going to slide that back and there is a little score mark on the back of this that I'm going to bend backwards. This is actually going to be adhered to my card itself with some foam tape. But I'm going to slide that over and then that open end piece I need to glue together. So I'm just going to trim a little piece of white cardstock and add just a little bit of liquid glue and really just adhere it underneath. You can't even tell and it just holds it together perfectly. And now you've got this shelf that's in front and in back of your little cart. So I'm just gonna adhere that together. And then look how cute that is. Now we've got this whole 3D effect. This card is really has a ton of dimension. This is going to be a hand delivered card. So here are the flowers and the leaves that I already die cut from the white cardstock. I just colored all of the leaves. I'm gonna be coloring the flowers. I'm keeping it super simple color scheme. I am coming in with kind of the YR002, 04, 00, and I'm just adding some of that peachy apricot, apricot color, and I'm keeping it, like I said, super simple. I don't want too much color going on with this. So I'm just gonna add my details to this. I'm just using my tweezers to hold it in place because they are small little pieces. And then I'll show you how I'm going to put one of these flower pots together. I actually die cut the flower pots from gold mirror cardstock. I originally did white, but I changed it to gold. So I'm adhering down the, the greenery and then I'm coming in with a few of the little flowers and just gluing those together. I'm actually going to end up gluing more of those together later. I didn't know how many pots of flowers I actually was wanting. I actually did use all three. So here I'm just going to glue these guys together. I've got the cute little roses that I'm going to adhere on those. I'm just adhering a couple roses on this, on this one and on the other one. And I actually ended up with some flowers left over, but I'm just going to stick this in my stamp set for later on. So now I'm stamping some images from the treat shop add-on and the coffee shop add-on. These first ones I'm stamping up, I'm actually going to be doing some gold embossing for these. So I've got the, the coffee break sign, the sweet treat sign, I've got the chalkboard, all of that. And I'm going to, I really wanted to bring in a lot of gold. So that's why these images are gold. These images I just did in the intense black ink because I wanted to do some Copic coloring. So I've got the cute little coffee pot. You can see I've got some coffee mugs there and some treats. So the coffee mugs and the coffee machine is from of course, the coffee shop add-on. And then the other little treats are from the treat shop add-on. I wanted this to be a coffee cart, coffee and treat cart, really. As Soon as I saw this, I was like, this needs to have food involved because I'm someone who just loves to eat a lot of food. So again, I'm keeping the colors quite simple, the same kind of teal and apricot color. I did bring in a little bit of yellow and pink for some of the other desserts. And then I'm just gonna use the coordinating dies to cut these out. So now I'm gonna make my little chalkboard stand. I have a piece of black cardstock. I'm gonna use some Versamark ink. I've got the little stamp that says specials and then the cute little lines, like it's all the writing that has the menu on it. I'm gonna stamp that up and just use some white embossing powder. That's gonna give it the cute little look that it is a chalkboard. And I'm gonna heat that until it's melted. And I'm gonna glue that to the front of the cute little, uh, chalkboard stand. Sorry, my brain stopped working. But I did that chalkboard stand with gold around the gold embossing. So it just kind of up to the level. Now I'm going to glue that coffee sign to the top of the cart here. And I just think that's really super cute to have it right on top. And then I stamped those little, little, I'm going to call them little corbels. And this is from the treat shop add on. And I'm actually putting those at the top where the little openings are. And I thought this just dressed up this little cart just a little bit more. And I did that in gold embossing as well. I'm going to add some foam tape behind this. So I am doing a single layer of foam tape behind that shelf. And then I'm doing four layers of foam tape behind 
the other parts of the cart. Because that shelf sticks out so far in the back, I needed to do four layers of foam tape. So like I said, this card has a ton of dimension. You will not be putting this in an envelope. <laughs> you could probably mail it in a box or hand deliver it. I'm going to adhere it to the background and make sure everything's just kind of lined up good. And I'm gonna start, at, start adding the rest of the elements to the card. I'm adding some foam tape behind the coffee machine. I'm just gonna place that in the back and it's just gonna look like it's sitting on that shelf, but it also has dim dimension. It's not flat against the brick wall. I'm gonna add some little coffee mugs. These have foam tape behind them as well. Then I have a little um, not a muffin, a cupcake that it has some foam tape behind that. And that's going to be in front of those two mugs and the foam tape will make it popped, pop off of the mugs. So that has more dimension. It just has a ton of dimension. And then I'm going to glue together a coffee mug and a little treat together. And this is going to slide in that little open slit of the shelf. So I have a piece of foam tape behind them so it won't slide down super far. So like a stopper, I slid that in just the tiniest bit and I'm going to add another piece of foam tape behind it so it doesn't tip backwards, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna finish gluing that little muffin down and I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid glue to the bottom there because I don't want these guys to slide out. And then this is where I realized I need to add a little piece, a little tiny strip of foam tape just right behind it so it won't tip backwards. And getting it in there was tricky because it was sticking to my fingers and sticking to the tweezers, but I finally got it. Now that that's done, I'm going to add some foam tape behind this uh, little chalkboard. I actually end up adding two layers of foam tape behind the chalkboard because that cart is so far forward, it needed some more layers. And then I'm going to add some more of the flowers, add my sentiment that says sweet treats. I stamped that in the salvaged patina and I'm adding some foam tape behind that. I'm just going to adhere that to the brick wall. And then I'm going to come in. And I, here's those cute little beads. I only stamped one on camera, but obviously I stamped and gold heat embossed a ton. And I'm adding a little bit of foam tape behind them. This, I wanted to look like those really beautiful lights that are hung outside when you do the outdoor dining at some of these restaurants. I have some of these lights in my backyard. And that's what these kind of looked like to me. So I, that's what I'm having going on at the top here. So. A little bit of dimension with these with just a single layer of foam tape. Then I'm going to add one more set on the top left. I'm not going to add foam tape behind those. I want that to look like it's a little further back. So I'm just going to glue that directly to the background. And I thought that the gold was really pretty. Just kind of reminded me of when they're on. They're just that nice yellow warm glow. So I'm going to add some more of these flower pots. I did decide we needed a little bit more flowers. So I'm going to glue those together and just adhere those down. And I anything that's hanging off the edge, I'm just going to trim off the excess. But that also makes your scene look like it's bigger when things go off the edge of your card design. Adding one more of those flower pots to the top up there. And we've got all that color all the way around. Now I'm just gonna finish this off by adding some shadows underneath these images that are sitting on the ground. So I'm coming in with some gray markers. I've got a light, a medium, and a dark. And I'm just gonna kinda lay it down and blend it out with that lightest one to just to kinda soften it, but it really grounds your image. It looks like they're sitting on this concrete. This card is finished and I love how it turned out. It is so beautiful. This market cart builder die is fantastic, you guys. And I love all the dimension that you can get from this and all the other things that you can add with this die. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this project and I'll be back soon. Bye.